The Global Mobile Awards has always been a bit more glamorous than your average industry bash. This year's wound up being the most star-studded yet. For starters, the evening was hosted by comedian Graham Norton. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, my name is Graham Norton. The most impressive thing about the industry is the phones may be getting smaller, but the event bigger. It's huge. It seems to have taken over the entire city of Barcelona. You are famous for playing pranks with mobile phones, are you not? I have used quite a lot of phones in, in the past, and well, just because it's, you know, it's fantastic technology. It's an amazing way of just reaching lots of people for whatever reason. This year's awards also heard from the independent film legend, whose Sundance Institute is promoting, with the GSM Association, made for mobile short films. We're not teasing you, he is actually here, Mr. Robert Redford, everybody! Someday, I didn't know what or, or how, but someday something will happen. There will be a venue for shorts, and now here it is. There's been this whole new category that's been created, and it's really, really an exciting time for artists. And I feel that human creativity is really the one thing that can drive new technology forward, because there's exciting times to come. It started with innovation, then came sound, then came widescreen, then came 3D, then came Panavision and video. It's always moving towards something new. Actress and award presenter Isabella Rossellini is also now making shorts for mobile. We realize that when you watch on a small screen, the animation is what comes across very clear. And sometimes if you look at Apocalypse Now or Gone with the Wind in a small screen, you may not do it justice. But if you create for this new campus, then it's okay, but generally very bright color, very uh, specific graphic, very clearly defined things seem to be easier to see. She's illustrated through art how you can inform and you can educate and you can entertain. That's why we're here to support them. In between the screen icons, some awards were actually presented. Best mobile handset, 2G and 3G now one category, went, well, not to the iPhone. The judges said the winner is a superb all-rounder that has captured the imagination of consumers around the world in 2007. The winner is Sony Ericsson for the W910 Walkman phone. And the GSMA Chairman's Award went to the Indian entrepreneur, whose enterprises now employ 30,000 people. He got into the telecoms business in the early 1990s, making India's first push-button telephones. From here, he acquired a mobile license and against all the odds led a decade-long revolution in India's dynamic mobile sector. I am talking, of course, about Sunil Mittal, founder, chairman, and managing director of Bharti Airtel. If you have an idea, if you have the will to serve, you can create magic out of nothing. And this company was created out of $1,500 to get to $50 billion in about 12 years' time frame. Eleven other awards were presented on the night. We'll be showing them all in a fuller future report on Mobile World TV. It was a good night for Gesture Tech, Microsoft, Seven, Safaricom, Cross Media Avenue, Grameen Phone, Sony Ericsson, Cellufun, Glue Mobile, Omniphone, MyWaves, Buzz City, Yahoo, and Sunil Mittal. But above all, it was a reminder that what's so often called the fourth screen is slowly but surely catching up with screens one, two, and three. The stars are big. It's just the picture that got small. At Barcelona's National Palace, I'm Robert Corran for Mobile World TV.